According to the report, or according to report released by the African Risk Capacity Group, documents that 1,436 disaster events happened in 29 African countries between 2000 and 2023. Floods accounted for 66% of these incidents, followed by storms at 15.4% and droughts at 11.7%. African governments spent an estimated $2.2 billion managing weather-related disasters in 2023 alone. The report further states that 40% of Africa is currently covered by early warning systems. Now, this calls for African countries to allocate funds for disaster management. And now joining us on the news is Tambili Nkunjana. He's a senior agricultural economist at the National Agricultural Marketing Council. And he joins us live today to discuss uh, issues. Tumbali, thank you so much for coming. And let's get started. I would like for you to you know, explain the current trend of increasing natural disasters in Africa and its relation to climate change. Okay, thanks for, for having me and, and, and your viewers. Um, so the, there has been an issue, I mean, with Africa recently, as much as it is generally a global issue, but uh, we've seen these uh, trends in terms of uh, occurrences across the region in a number of years. For instance, if you are to look or uh, to compare uh, Africa as a region to the world, you realize that as of last year, uh, data shows that South Africa has is the third, you know, largest number of, of disasters in terms of the rate of frequency that has been happening after Asia and, and Americas. And this is, of course, uh, is, I think it's seconded by the number of disasters that we have seen recently. You'll recall we have had quite a number of cyclones to a number of countries from Africa, including Madagascar and Mozambique. Now we are currently experiencing a drought. So this is something that is calling you know, for, for some significant measures in terms of trying to be able to address the climate change you know, uh, at least uh, in its entirety, and of course, uh, and the issues that it is bringing uh, currently to the African uh, continent, as we have seen, and as of this year, that that has has uh, caused a significant, you know, issues in terms of the production of food in general. Hmm. Uh, now, I have to ask, right, does Africa's uh, geography and, and climate make it more vulnerable to, to natural disasters? Um, yeah, so because, I mean, uh, the, the reality is that climate is affecting the entire world, as I said earlier on, but based on the measures and, of course, the, the, the topographies and, the, you know, the terrains of each region will have, uh, these are going to be affecting, you know, uh, those areas differently. For instance, if you are to look into the semi-arid or arid areas, you find that uh, the drought uh, has been going on. For instance, if you are to look specifically the Horn of Africa, the countries like towards Kenya, Ethiopia, and so forth, you realize that for, for the recent years, there have been consecutive years where we have seen quite a number of drought that has persisted for quite longer periods than it normally did before. And this is something that has to do with, you know, the climate change has been said a number of times. And mm -hmm. also for the countries that have, you know, that are sort of more like tropically, we have seen quite a devastating in terms of in the frequency of occurrences in terms of the cyclones and the, the, the storms. So basically based on the, you know, the, the, the natural uh, surroundings of those areas, the, the climate change is exacerbating all the problems that are related to those specific areas based on the, you know, on the, the, the region's, you know, natural um, standing in terms of be it is a dry, is a semi-arid area, or is it tropical, and so forth. So this, of course, it is showing across the, the African continent based on what the examples that I just made earlier on. Right. Now, of course, you we're going to bring agriculture into this and, and food security into this, right? Because I, I think that uh, basically that's one of the reasons why you're here, if not the only reason. So the implication of, of, of climate change like and the, and, how, and the relation of climate change and this natural disasters that we're seeing in Africa, increasing natural disasters we're seeing in Africa, how is it affecting food security and its availability and even agricultural production altogether? Yeah, no, for, for Africa, that one is always going to be an issue. I mean, we, we a lot of analysts, you know, have always raised an issue in terms of how Africa needs to be ready. For instance, if we are to pull in general, is that Africa remains a country that is a net importer of food. 
and this has been an issue for some time, even before the current El Ninos that you are experiencing now, it has always been in a net import of products. So given the current situation that is the, the excessive, you know, uh, climate related problems, not necessarily in Africa, but across the world, is that now the, the issue of food production in general is becoming a problem. For instance, if I may put the, the example of this year, we have such a situation in South Africa, which is a key producer, producer of white maize and a supplier to the Southern African region. We have realized that at least there's going to be a decline of around 20% uh, of white maize production. And this has simply uh, very important implications, you know, for those countries that buy uh, this maize uh, from South Africa and, of course, the products that are milled from, uh, from that particular maize. And of course, if you are also to bring in the issue of Asia, which I said that is one of the, of the regions globally that has been negatively impacted and is actually amongst the, the, the regions in the, in the world that has been seeing devastation in this. It is quite an important uh, region where a lot of rice is produced. I remember uh, Africa is one of the highest consumers of rice uh, and it buys that, it buys that upside. So in terms of food availability, elsewhere and then of course the amount that we can be able to produce as i was making an example this year remember for instance uh, i think zambia declared a state of disaster because of drought as uh, zimbabwe did the same thing i believe malawi as well so there has been a number of these issues that of course they have quite a direct impact in terms of how the continent can be able to produce its own food mm. given that it already has a deficit in terms of producing food as a result, the monies that are available now, they need to be channeled in terms of other means to make sure that we are, you know, the, 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 the governance is making sure that a lot right. of people are to be supported. Tambili. Tambili. Yeah, I, I, I'm sorry I have to quote you there, but many thanks for coming on because we're pressed for time and we have other guests. But I appreciate you for doing it, with, doing this with us. And that's Tambili Nkunjana. He is a senior agricultural economist at National Agricultural Marketing Council and was talking to me about the increasing African disaster, uh, climate change, and its correlation with food access and, you know, and security. Again, many thanks, Tambili. We appreciate you for doing this with us. And we'll move thanks. now to...